let's face the facts, everyone. Knowing me by now, you know that I have to make a video about this. You know the things that I have to say on this topic, and you know that you're going to agree with me, because the things that I'm going to say is most likely not going to be any different from everybody else who has the brains to know what is bullshit and what is not. And honestly, how could you blame me? The entire idea itself is batshit insane. Just when you think the feminist community can't go possibly any lower than it already has, it managed to keep proving you wrong. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. They a little brief history on this trending hashtag. A female Twitter user by the name of Lauren Chief Elk made this new hashtag, Give Your Money to Women. And what reason should we just give her the money? Because she's a woman. That's it. Now don't get me wrong, if someone wants to donate money to somebody else due to needing money to make a project that would take forever if the posting only relies on his job, or if the people donate money to a certain YouTuber so that way they can get all the entertainment they want from that YouTuber, then that's fine. But when you just straight up and just ask for money because you have a vagina between your legs, well, then all it does is makes you look like a selfish prick. The funny thing is there are people actually doing this shit. Like, for example, this walrus right here wants to get a name changed and a full-grown erect penis. She's using the hashtag, give your money to women. To them, men are just fucking Santa Claus that just go down people's chimney and say, Ho, ho, ho! Here's your fucking present for being a woman! Keep up the good work for being a woman, not to put coal into those non-male feminist pigs! Look. When you actually do something for society, like try to entertain folks, or try to inform them about stuff they didn't know about, then you might get a tip or two. But you don't get a tip for being a woman. The same way that nobody gets a tip for being gay, or black, or handicapped. If you need money so goddamn badly, get a part-time job. Hell, I don't have one, but at least I'm trying to get one. But chances are my words will fall into deaf ears because when was the last time a feminist take in criticism and actually accept that criticism? Well, Miss Zelda NES for one, but I have the feeling it's because Teal Deer is one hell of a powerful YouTuber. All he has to do is link my video on his description and all of a sudden I get a boost of popularity. But let's be honest, feminists would rather stay in their echo chambers then to actually deal with criticism. That's why I'm not shocked to see someone disable their ratings and comments, because if they have to read any criticism that is in fact well explained, the very first thing they will do is block or report you. They know if anything challenges their ideology, and if they can't back that up, well, they'll find someone else to do that work for them, and then pat them on the back for doing so, no matter how wrong they are. And the worst part is, they're doing it under the name of equality. Is it really equality if a woman can't handle criticism, so a brave man must come to the aid of that woman? No, it is not. Is it really equality if we just hand them over money? No. Is it really equality when a homeless man is still somehow managed to have more privilege than a woman? No, it is not. Giving your money to a woman doesn't make them equal to men. It makes them spoiled, like a fat child who can't get enough ice cream. You take that ice cream away, he'll start crying like a little bitch. You might think in order to stop the crying, you just give him that ice cream. But you got to stand your ground. You got to shut him up. That's what we are doing with the feminist. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.